the male protagonist crossed over to a different world, only to discover that he unexpectedly had 38 mothers, and each mother was kind and amiable. In order to grow up healthy, he had to painstakingly aim for a score of just one on every test, for fear that accidentally surpassing his intellectually disabled older brother would result in being killed by his stepmother. Pei Ling grew up in the honorable and just, revered sect that eradicated evil for the people. He had an outstandingly capable father and 38 mothers. Every day, he also had to take care of his stepmother's maidservant, afraid that she might accidentally reward him excessively, returning to his dilapidated nest. Even worse than an outhouse, the male protagonist smirked. Another day of successful survival. However, these days were about to come to an end. After enduring 18 years and going through countless hardships, the male protagonist finally managed to gather 300 low-grade spirit stones. System, activate, name, paling, race, human, realm, foundation establishment stage, second layer, system status inactive, sufficient spirit stones detected to activate the system. May I ask if the host wishes to activate the system? Without hesitation, the male protagonist selected yes. As the operating interface dissipated, the system suddenly displayed the class Classic Windows 95 window. Pei Ling was instantly astonished by the change in style. So many points that can be criticized. Well, it's better than nothing. Pei Ling frantically searched through the martial arts selection interface, and finally found the only martial art that could be cultivated. The Iron Bone Technique. This was a demonic martial art. Those with weak willpower would perish from the unbearable pain of shattered bones. Looking at the cultivation time listed behind, it started at 10 years. Pei Ling was speechless. After barely surviving for 18 years, did he have to cultivate for several more decades? Suddenly, Pei Ling noticed a one-click cultivation system below. Just by looking at this fancy button, he knew it had extraordinary functions. After clicking it, a mysterious force surged into the protagonist's body, while the system sent a prompt. One-click hosting, intelligent upgrade in progress. Friendly reminder, during cultivation, the host will lose control of their body. Please do not panic. Later, the male protagonist discovered that his body began to cultivate autonomously. As waves of pure spiritual energy flowed into his body, Pei Ling not only felt it, but it also felt amazing. Indeed, this system is perfect for me. It's truly a conscientious system. Suddenly, the system sent a prompt. Detection. Lack of bone tempering pills and cultivation. Please wait. The male protagonist thought to himself. Even the big shots of the Pei clan don't have many bone tempering pills. I haven't even seen one. Where can I find bone tempering pills? Suddenly, the system issued another prompt. Analysis complete. The system will gift 10 bone tempering pills for free. The male protagonist was overjoyed. Is this the beginner's benefit? Suddenly, the protagonist's body stood up on its own, kicking open the door and flying off towards a certain place. The male protagonist was shocked. I've survived for 18 years, but I've never run around the courtyard so brazenly. When he reached his destination, the male protagonist was astonished to find himself at the residence of the sex great demon leader. Pei Ling desperately begged the system not to act rashly. Just take a look and leave. In the next second, he kicked open the front door and dashed straight in. Pei Ling shouted to stop while sparks and lightning trailed behind him, heading straight for the main house. Luckily, the system stopped at the entrance to the main house. Pei Ling breathed a sigh of relief. But in an instant, the system punched through the door, leaving the male protagonist feeling utterly hopeless. After all, this was Xin Jinxian's room. He's the big demon leader who dares to kill even his own father. But the system didn't care about that. It controlled his body, strolled casually to the cabinet, and opened a drawer, where, as expected, there was a bottle of bone-tempering pills. At this moment, the system prompted, 10 bone-tempering pills gifted successfully. The intelligent system will continue your cultivation. Pei Ling was about to pour out the pills and stuff them into his mouth. Who do you think you're fooling by calling this gifting bone-tempering pills? After swallowing the bone-tempering pill, the system nonchalantly sat down and began cultivating on the spot. Pei Ling felt mentally exhausted, but this bone-tempering pill was indeed a good thing. After taking it, his cultivation speed increased by more than 10 times compared to before. As the meridians in his body surged, Pei Ling's cultivation visibly grew at a rapid pace. He broke through to the third layer of the foundation establishment stage, truly worthy of a male protagonist, easily achieving what others couldn't. Then, the system ended its control over Pei Ling's body, expecting a five-star review from the male protagonist. Pei Ling wasn't ungrateful, so he decisively raised his middle finger and gave it a one-star rating. Just as Pei Ling was still immersed in the pleasure of revenge, laughter from a woman suddenly echoed around him. Nervously, Pei Ling turned around to look, and to his surprise, the woman on the screen had come back to life. She even invited Pei Ling to join her in cultivating the Great Tao, seeing the ghostly hand reaching out towards him. Pei Ling broke out in a cold sweat. 
hastily retreating repeatedly. Luckily, his physical condition had greatly surpassed before after the breakthrough, and with a few swift movements, he flipped over the back wall of the Jin clan's backyard. Just as he was about to lament his near loss of purity, a sinister voice suddenly came from behind. Seventh young master, what are you doing? Pei Ling had just escaped from Jin Jinshan's residence, and now he encountered a servant from the clan. He urged Pei Ling to quickly gather at the main hall. As the family head had an announcement to make, Pei Ling anxiously asked about Jin Jinshan's return to the residence. The servant responded impatiently, he hasn't returned. Don't waste my time or you'll face the family's disciplinary measures. Pei Ling immediately dashed off, thinking to himself. It seems that Jin Jinshan went directly to the main hall as soon as he returned, and he has no idea about me stealing his pills. Moreover, the Pei clan has strict rules and regulations. If someone fails to attend a meeting without reason, experts will be sent to apprehend them. After a moment, Pei Ling arrived at the clan's main hall. Jin Jinshan, a disciple of the Zhongming sect, sat in the main seat, while the clan head sat beside him. Pei Ling cautiously hid among the crowd, observing as all the clan members gathered. Jin Jinshan issued a task. Today, our sect trader Wu Tingxi has fled to Mount Yuan Lao. Everyone, immediately enter the mountain and search. A reward of 50 bone tempering pills will be given to those who find any trace. Pei Ling thought to himself, truly worthy of the Zhongming sect. They offer 50 bone tempering pills right from the start. Even the clan head beside him was astonished by this generous reward. Xin Jinshan's eyes showed a hint of anger. What are you all standing there for? Why aren't you taking action immediately? The clan head hurriedly stood up and explained. Master, please don't misunderstand. We have only heard that Wu Tingxi's cultivation has reached the seventh layer of the foundation establishment stage. While our disciples have weak strength, it may be difficult for them to handle it. The seventh layer of the foundation establishment stage may be insignificant to Jin Jinjian. But for the Pei clan, it's like a towering mountain. The clan head himself has just reached the seventh layer of the foundation establishment stage, while the great demon Jin Jinjian is already at the mid-stage of the foundation stage. In other words, the entire Pei clan is easily within Jin Jinjian's grasp. At this moment, Jin Jinjian calmly spoke. Wu Tingxi is already heavily injured. Even cultivators traveling on the path could easily capture him. Furthermore, I'm only asking you to find him, not to take action against him. After saying that, he snapped his fingers, and a man with a gloomy face and cold eyes appeared as if by magic. This was Wu Tingxi. If you discover his trace, immediately send a signal. I will personally come and capture him. Upon hearing this, everyone nodded in agreement. Pei Ling felt secretly delighted. Once we leave the city, I'll make my escape directly, fleeing far away. On the other hand, Xin Jinshan returned to his residence but didn't go to his own room. Instead, he went to a more secluded cottage at the back, and on the eaves, there were wind chimes made of skulls hanging. Xin Jinshan glanced at them and felt dizzy. A woman inside the house spoke coldly. Did you find the person? Xin Jinshan replied. Wu Tingxi has escaped to Mount Yuanlao with the secret manual. I have informed the Pei clan. Useless. He was interrupted before he could finish. The person inside the house reprimanded coldly. If you can't find the Six Desires manual within three days, I will extract your soul to refine my artifact. The protagonist followed the fellow disciples and arrived at the foot of Mount Yuan Lao. Because the protagonist had just stolen the pills from Jin Jinshan, the great demon, he planned to escape before the demon discovered it. Pei Ling had already prepared an escape plan in advance. First, he would go to the nearest neighboring city, disguise himself, and blend in with a traveling caravan. Then, he thought, he would have the freedom to roam the vast sea and sky, with no limitations. While the protagonist was focused on running away, Pei Ling suddenly felt weak in the legs, and his body turned cold. This was something that had never happened to him since he embarked on the path of cultivation. Then, he fell to the ground with a thump, thinking to himself, it must be the eerie screen's doing. But why didn't anything happen when I was in Jin Jinshan's room before? Could it be because, at that time, the system was controlling my body, feeling his thoughts becoming increasingly dull? Pei Ling didn't have time to dwell on it and quickly summon the system. I want to cultivate. The intelligent cultivation system is at your service. After the system took control of his body, Pei Ling instantly became strong-willed. With a roar, the female ghost who had been arrogant earlier, was punched apart by Pei Ling. Indeed, with the system by my side, those female ghosts dare not lay a hand on me. Suddenly, a notification sound from the system echoed in his ears, detecting severe depletion of the host's vitality. Continuing cultivation will result in irreversible damage. 
to assist the host in regulating vitality. The system will grant three vitality pills free of charge. Pei Ling was once again filled with fear and terror. Another batch of pills was being offered. The protagonist shouted not to take them, but his body obediently turned backward and sprinted towards Mount Yuan Lao, where he had just escaped from. Meanwhile, in a certain underground chamber in Mount Yuan Lao, an old man with a withered face lamented his current miserable situation as he took out the last bottle of vitality pills from his pocket. While preparing to swallow them, Pei Ling appeared beside the man, swiftly snatching the jade bottle from the old man's hand and immediately pouring out three vitality pills. He swallowed them all in one gulp and casually tossed the bottle into a corner. Simultaneously, the system sent a prompt. Vitality pill distribution completed. The system will continue your cultivation. Then, Pei Ling directly sat down cross-legged and began cultivation right on the spot. At Foundation Establishment Stage 3, furious about his vitality pills being stolen and witnessing someone cultivating in front of him, broke through his rationality in an instant, filled with anger. I'll kill you. The old man's rage surged. He picked up the discarded jade bottle, swallowed the remaining vitality pills in one go, and lifted the jade bottle to strike the protagonist's head, detecting an external attack. The cultivation session ended at this point. If satisfied, please give a 5-star rating. Satisfied? You damned ghost! Watching the enraged old man, Pei Ling was about to beg for mercy, but he was directly sent flying 20 meters away by a strike of the five poison fingers. As the dust settled, Pei Ling sat paralyzed on the ground, unable to move, staring at the five bloody holes in his arm. Pei Ling's mind raced. The old man is too strong. If this continues, I will undoubtedly die. I must find a way to stall him. Seeing Pei Ling blocking his five poison fingers with his left arm, the old man's expression changed. He silently activated his eye technique and discovered that Pei Ling had actually cultivated an exceptional iron body, speculating that the protagonist must have had some fortuitous encounter. He questioned Pei Ling, how did you cultivate such an exceptional iron body? Looking at the sinister old man, Pei Ling quickly apologized, regretting his decision to snatch the vitality pills, but he genuinely had no idea about the exceptional iron body. Thinking of fooling this old man for now, he didn't expect the old man's next words to instantly intensify the situation. You came into the mountains for me, didn't you? Pei Ling was frightened and quickly waved his hands. If he admitted it, he would be killed on the spot. So he narrated the incident of stealing the bone-tempering pills in detail. The old man listened and was also shocked. He didn't expect this kid to be so audacious, to dare steal from Jinjin John. Are young people these days so reckless? Pei Ling shyly touched his head and said, Youthful recklessness, you know, who hasn't made mistakes before? And Jinjin John hasn't gone back yet, because he hasn't discovered that I destroyed his ancestral home. Seeing that the old man was convinced by his rhetoric, Pei Ling quickly put on a flattering expression. We have a common enemy. We are destined to be a perfect match. The old man disdainfully shook off Pei Ling's hand. If that's the case, why did you snatch my vitality pills? Pei Ling quickly explained. I had no choice. Do you know that Jinjin Shan has a screen embroidered with a beautiful woman? The old man's eyes widened. His face changed drastically. You brat. Have you seen the painting of the seductive ghost? You are still alive. Seeing the old man's reaction, Pei Ling was instantly filled with fear. He had indeed taken a good look at that thing. He then explained that he had been tormented by the seductive ghosts along the way, and in desperation, he had to snatch the fellow cultivator's vitality pills to save his life. The old man muttered to himself, Indeed, with your strength, you wouldn't stand a chance against the devouring power of the painting of the seductive ghost. His expression then changed, and he smirked sinisterly, since that's the case. How about we make a deal? He took out his treasured cultivation manual, the Six Desires Scripture, from his pocket, and intended to make a trade with the protagonist. As long as Pei Ling could help him escape from Mount Yuan Lao, he would share this cultivation method with him. Pei Ling persistently looked at him. Is that it? It seems quite ordinary. Wu Tingxi immediately became furious. What do you know, you little brat? This is the cultivation method that Jin Jin Shan desires but can't obtain. They have done whatever it takes to obtain this cultivation method, cruelly harming my sect. If I hadn't noticed something was amiss in advance, I would have been killed by Jin Jin Shan long ago. The old man held the jade scroll with a sense of grievance. Just then, the system suddenly prompted. Unknown external cultivation method detected. System is recording. Pei Ling was taken aback. He didn't expect the system to have such a useful function. Although the recording speed was a bit slow, Pei Ling could only desperately stall for time. Seeing Pei Ling's anxious expression, Wu Tingxi slapped the protagonist's head. That's the effect I wanted. Then, he tucked the jade scroll back into his pocket, unaware that the cultivation method had already been fully recorded. Recording complete. Please name the cultivation method. Host. At a time like this, 
Who had the time to think of a name? Let's call it the nameless cultivation method. Now the important thing is to escape from here first. Then, Pei Ling pretended to support the old man and suddenly turned around, exclaiming in shock, Xin Jin Shan, why are you here? Wu Tingxi was instantly scared and wet his pants. Pei Ling took this opportunity to quickly slip away. By the time Wu Tingxi reacted, there was no one around him anymore. Wu Tingxi became furious. How dare that kid deceive me? He casually shot a beam of light towards Pei Ling. Pei Ling was frightened and ran around aimlessly, ending up in a dead end. Seeing Wu Tingxi closing in on him, Pei Ling calculated in his heart. His body had already recovered, and Wu Tingxi's current strength was at most 30 to 40 percent of his usual state. He could fight back. Then, with an angry shout, Pei Ling threw Wu Tingxi over his shoulder with a shoulder throw. Seeing Wu Tingxi barely breathing, Pei Ling quickly finished him off and casually took the jade scroll and pills. Just as he was about to leave and continue his escape, the familiar feeling of weakness struck again. Recalling Wu Tingxi's curse before he died, Pei Ling reluctantly had to return to the Pei residence once again, planning to trade the jade scroll with Jin Jinshan to break the ghost poison. To his surprise, Jin Jinshan was not in the mansion, but he was informed that there was an even more powerful figure in the mansion. Jin Jinshan was like an ant in her presence. She was Li Lai Yu, the next saintess of the Chongming sect. Since childhood, Pei Ling had been arranged to marry the saintess, but at the age of 18, she had already reached the Golden Core Realm's great perfection, while the protagonist was not even at the fourth layer of the Foundation Establishment stage. With just a glance, the woman pressed Pei Ling down to the ground with her oppressive aura, in order to save his life. Pei Ling hurriedly confessed to the saintess, hoping that she could help him remove the ghost poison. The saintess inquired about Wu Tingxi's whereabouts. Pei Ling replied, Wu Tingxi is already dead. As for the jade scroll on his body, he had hidden it in a certain place. He only hoped that the saintess could save his life. Seeing Pei Ling severely injured by the five poison palm, the saintess knew that Pei Ling's words were not false. She casually threw a bottle of pill, telling Pei Ling that as long as he took it and meditated, he could dissolve the chilling power of the five poison finger. As for the curse of the Rakshasa ghost disciple on Pei Ling's body, once he retrieved the jade scroll, Jin Jinshan would be able to remove it. Then, she turned her body around, instantly disappearing from sight. Pei Ling had just freed himself from Li Liyue's oppression, but who would have expected the curse on his body to act up again? And now he had to endure it until Li Liyue returned, and the only means he had was to rely on the system for cultivation. Looking at the familiar skill selection interface, recalling the experiences of cultivating the bone forging art twice before, Pei Ling decisively chose the nameless art. One click automated intelligent cultivation, now starting automated cultivation. The familiar sound of the system echoed in his ears. Pei Ling once again felt the utmost comfort. On the other side, Li Lai Yu successfully obtained the secret manual, but before she had a chance to examine it, a sudden attack emerged from the manual. Fortunately, her profound cultivation allowed her to dodge this deadly strike. Then, the manual floated in the air, gradually condensing into the form of an old man. It turned out to be Luo Qiao, an elder from the outer sect of the Chongming sect. Li Lai Yu did not expect that he still had a remnant soul hidden in the manual. Seeing Luo Qiao launching an attack towards her, Li Lai Yu remained calm, gathering her spiritual energy and summoning a ferocious giant serpent. This was the soul binding lock that specialized in restraining residual spirits. The old man was tightly entangled by the giant serpent and couldn't break free. Seeing no chance of turning the tables, Luo Qiao made up his mind to die together with the woman. Immediately, his entire soul rapidly expanded. Li Lai Yu didn't expect Luo Qiao to be so decisive, willing to self-detonate his soul to destroy the manual. Then, she leaped high, disregarding everything, and rushed towards Luo Qiao, and successfully seized the manual by enduring the self-detonation of a Golden Core Realm cultivator. But she herself also suffered serious injuries, and needed to quickly return to the residence for proper recuperation. However, what she didn't know was, Pei Ling's system was about to cause trouble again. At the same time, Pei Ling, who was cultivating the nameless art, was secretly delighted. Never did he expect that cultivating this technique would be so captivating. Suddenly, the system prompted that the nameless art was a dual cultivation technique, and required a partner to continue cultivation. Detecting that the host lacked a Taoist companion, the system would provide a free Taoist companion. Pei Ling was instantly speechless. Here we go again? Then the system took control of Pei Ling's body and started running wildly. Pei Ling's mentality instantly exploded. Damn system, you won't stop until you drive me crazy. Ha, throughout the Pei residence, anyone who could be a Taoist companion was either a blood-related sister or aunt. The system quickly arrived at its destination. Surprisingly, it was the Saintess's Fuyun courtyard. Pei Ling still clung to a glimmer of hope. System, 
Did we make a mistake? Isn't Li Lai Yu still outside the city? But in the next second, the system decisively pushed open the door and headed straight into the courtyard. Pei Ling was completely panicked. System, you're amazing. Let's face our doom together, shall we? Li Lai Yu, who was in the midst of healing her injuries, noticed the figure outside the room. But she didn't think much of it, and assumed it was someone coming to help her remove the Rakshasa Yen Ghost Disciple's curse. She casually said, I will attend to you later. But unexpectedly, the door was kicked open with a loud bang. At the same time, the system struck a pose. Thinking it looked handsome, Li Lai Yu was furious. Her fierce attack instantly struck towards Pei Ling. Simultaneously, Pei Ling also threw out a jade pill that he obtained from Wu Tingxi, a jade green pill. The pill exploded in midair, enveloping the entire room in thick smoke. After the dust settled, Li Lai Yu collapsed to the ground, feeling weak all over. Seven desolate soul suppressing powder. Never did Wu Tingxi expect his trump card to end up in Pei Ling's hands. Soon after, she lost consciousness due to exhaustion. Pei Ling also didn't expect Li Lai Yu to collapse like this. Could it be that the system is too powerful? Or does she have injuries? The system then gently carried the woman and placed her on the bed. Pei Ling thought to himself, Thank goodness, you dog of a system, have some conscience. But this woman is off limits. It's better for us to leave first. But in the next moment, the system reached out towards the saintess, unveiling the veil that covered her face. So beautiful, seeing the woman's stunning appearance. Pei Ling was instantly dumbfounded. Taoist companion acquisition complete. Now, commence formal cultivation. At this moment, Pei Ling's inner world was in turmoil. Reason and desire were in constant conflict. But when the system tore off the woman's clothes, all reason was instantly obliterated. I didn't want this either. But which man can resist? Pei Ling pressed down on the woman like a hungry tiger pouncing on its prey. Looking at the blushing Li Lai Yu beneath him, Pei Ling discovered that a strange force was continuously flowing into his limbs and body. Not only did his injuries from the fight with Wu Tingxi heal rapidly, but even the recently achieved breakthrough in the foundation establishment stage was rapidly advancing. Seeing the slightly furrowed brows of the saintess beneath him, Pei Ling's body was drenched in cold sweat. He had no idea how the woman would torment and abuse him once she woke up. My identity is definitely not going to be preserved. Just at this moment, Xin Jinchan had just returned to the Pei residence, and learned from the Pei family head that Wu Tingxi was dead, and that the items had been personally retrieved by Li Lai Yu. Xin Jinchan was secretly delighted. Perhaps senior sister will consider my contributions. You will reward me as well. Little did he know that his beautiful senior sister was being bullied by this kid. But in the next moment, his expression turned ugly, because the bone-tempering pill placed in the cabinet was missing. He asked behind him, who broke in while I was away? Immediately, a ghost drifted out from the folding screen behind him, gradually transforming into the shape of a woman, and whispered softly in his ear, Pei Ling, and this person is currently at your senior sister's residence, the Fuyun Courtyard. Meanwhile, inside the Fuyun Courtyard, the woman lying on the bed was slowly regaining consciousness. She could feel a pure energy, continuously flowing into her body, and her injuries were rapidly healing. This warm and comfortable feeling, made her somewhat unable to resist. The woman slowly opened her eyes, and what met her gaze was a stranger. She instantly understood what had happened, raised her right arm to strike the shameless scoundrel, but unexpectedly, her wrist was grabbed. Not only was she pressed down again, but he also effortlessly flipped her over. At the same time, the system continued to control Pei Ling's body, accelerating his cultivation. Feeling the rapid growth of his cultivation and the continuous influx of pure energy, the woman's face was filled with shame. While the two were immersed in their cultivation, Jin Jinchan had already arrived at the entrance of the Fuyun courtyard. Seeing the broken gate, Jin Jinchan was shocked. Who dares to trespass into the Fuyun courtyard? Looking at the woman beneath him, filled with killing intent, Pei Ling felt a mix of emotions. It feels great in the moment, but you'll regret it later. But the system doesn't care about these things. After the final convergence of Yin and Yang, Pei Ling finally gained control of his body from the system. At the same time, the system sent a prompt. One-click automation. Ascend without worries. Please give a 5-star rating if you're satisfied. Exhausted, Pei Ling collapsed on top of the woman. He took a deep breath and happened to meet Li Liyue's gaze, filled with a desire to tear him to pieces. No time to explain. Let's escape quickly. However, at this moment, footsteps could be heard from outside. It was Jin Jinchan's voice. Who dares to trespass into the Fuyun courtyard? Damn it. Why is Jin Jinchan here? Pei Ling in the room was suffocating. Jin Jinchan outside the room was also greatly shocked. He didn't expect senior sister's door to be broken as well. Could it still be that kid, Pei Ling? Fine, you stole my bone-tempering pill. 
but I didn't expect you would dare to touch senior sister's belongings. Jin Jinjian was planning to take care of Pei Ling on behalf of the Pei family. Suddenly, a series of bells rang from the eaves. Instantly, a mouthful of blood sprayed out from Jin Jinjian's mouth. He immediately knelt on the ground, continuously kowtowing and begging senior sister for forgiveness. Then a familiar icy voice came from inside the room, mixed with an anger rarely seen before. Jin Jinjian didn't dare to delay for a moment and quickly turned around to leave. Pei Ling turned around and looked at the woman, his expression full of embarrassment. I'm sorry, I just… Before Pei Ling could finish speaking, the woman walked straight past him, and went inside the folding screen, starting to clean herself with water. Seeing this, Pei Ling quickly put on his clothes, preparing to run away. However, the system popped up with another prompt. Please give a 5-star rating if you're satisfied. Without any surprise, Pei Ling raised his middle finger and gave it a 1-star rating. If it weren't for the fact that I can't uninstall the system, I would kick you out in a minute. I'm sorry. The intelligent cultivation system failed to provide the host with a satisfactory cultivation experience. As compensation, the system will give a free nourishing essence pill. Before Pei Ling could react, the system quickly took control of his body and flipped out a purse from the torn clothes of Li Lai you on the bed. Open it and take out a nourishing essence pill. At the same time, the system prompts that the nourishing essence pill has been given, wishing you a smooth cultivation journey. Pei Ling was dumbfounded. After sleeping with the holy maiden, do I get rewarded for stealing her things again? What kind of scumbag system would do such a thing? Pei Ling quickly picked up the nourishing essence pill, intending to return it. Suddenly, he felt a chill behind him. The person approaching was Li Lai Yu herself. With cold and indifferent eyes, she asked. What are you doing? 